Good morning, everybody. It's Patsy from Patsy's Crochet. Um, just got my stuff from the dryers, so I thought I'd come on quick and do a little chit chat and crochet a long video while the guys that are doing the brickwork are on their break. I wish it was a long break. <laughs> so, are you guys all ready for the tutorial tonight? Now, is this the way you guys want to do this tutorial? Is as we're talking, do the tutorial like this, or do you want me to go underneath my other camera and do the tutorial? Um, it's totally up to you how you like to do it, as long as we're all comfortable. Um, this white thread, the taboo, is really um, is it the word shredding I'm looking for? really soft though but so would you like a tutorial of me sitting like this talking and showing you how to do the stitches or do you want me to go underneath my big camera and do it it's totally up to you so you guys let me know so then that way when later on tonight comes along um, we can sit and do the tutorial together um, so hot out here I think it's supposed to go as high as 31 today. We don't have the air conditioners in yet, but this weekend we're putting them in. Um, so I'm hoping the guys that are doing the brickwork around Katie's window will be done today. So then that way I can put Katie's window air conditioner in because the other air conditioners are stand up. So we can put them in at any time. But the one for their windows, um, I don't want no, you know, dust and all that from the brick laying going in the motor because they'll wreck the window air conditioner. So, I said I haven't um, received my Annie's yet. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it would be in today. I don't know. Um, hobby, I don't know where it is. Um, I checked the tracking on that. I, I don't know if it's coming into Canada or if it's still. It's been on its way for a long time. So, and then Sudi's will be here. Um, it says shipping date is the 27th. So, this dress is a very easy pattern. Very easy. I made it easy. Cannot believe that I still did it. So we do it is opened, okay? Because the front part we the front part, remember I showed you, we button up the front. So it's not like in a round. You could probably do it in a round. But this is the way I signed it. I thought it'd be a, a lot easier. Sometimes I don't like working in a round. So this is a medium, um, sorry, a lightweight number three yarn that I am using, and the crochet hook is a 3.25. Now either I could do it with this kind, or I could do it with a, a size four. Try it with a size four. I haven't tried a size four, size four yet, medium size four yarn. Of all all the, the three dresses I made are in a lightweight number three. So, I don't know what it will look like with a number four. I'm scared to be bigger <laughs> than a newborn. I wanted to make something for newborns. Because um, when you look at it, it's tiny up top, right? Yeah, it's so cute. So. And then what you do is you're going to button them up, right? But I ha I'm waiting for the buttons to see so I could do the tutorial. But I won't be able to do the buttons tonight. To show you to do the buttons. Oh, that's inside out, sorry. I won't be able to show you how to do the button part of it. Because my buttons aren't in. Buttons that did come in are not the right size buttons for these little baby dresses. So 
be biting them up. So I mean, but I'm gonna make this longer because for baptism or um, my friend Lenore told me, Christian, <laughs> Chris. Oh my goodness, I have a, a word pronunciation problem. I have it on my top of my tongue, but I just can't spit it out. So I thought I'd make a longer one, you know, for when the baby gets baptized. Um, so I should have enough yarn. This is my last ball of white, so hopefully this will be long enough because I like it to go down to their toes for the Christian. Baptism. So all I can say, I can't say the other one. Christening. There, I said it. Christening or baptism. There you go. It takes me a while, but I said it. <laughs> so it's up to you how you want this tutorial to be. But you have to let me know. If you want us sitting here talking and crocheting like this and I show you or underneath um, the webcam it doesn't bother me one way or the other <sighs> right now it's if I don't move around so much this fan is a really good fan I got it from Walmart uh, just as lockdown was coming in effect and it's, it's nice right now but I'm in the back of the building so um, the Sun will come in at the back this afternoon and it'll be right in new things menopause and heat don't mix so I gotta get a dark set of curtains up on this window and close them. I know, like, I'll be having them shut in the afternoon, but the curtains, but not in the morning. So. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, what are your plans for the long weekend? If, like, it's Queen's, I think it's. Victoria Day. Isn't it? It's the May 2 4 weekend, whatever that is here in Canada. <laughs> Queen's Day? Or Labor Day is not until September, so this is the May 2 4 weekend here in Canada. I don't know if you have that wherever you're living. What are your plans? And what are your crochet? Hopefully you guys will be doing my baby jazz. <laughs> I'd love to see some pictures though. If you do this baby dress, I'd really love to see pictures. I'm on Facebook. You can email me, send me a picture. Um, I'd love to see it. Um, I, I'm not really good at writing out patterns. To me, it's just easier just to show you how to do it. And if you have any questions, you can just email me or ask down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, in the description box later on, I don't know, like, I know some people write down their patterns, but that'd be quite a long. In the description box so I think it'd be best if I if you have any questions or anything like that um, you ask me in the comments down below after the tutorial or email me I'll leave you, leave you my email address in the description box 
unless you have it already. But I do have to do the rest of the laundry today. I got to sort through the yarn room because I got to put a stand up air conditioner in there tomorrow. So I got to rearrange something in there. Put my yarn, some yarn away <laughs> if I have room. <laughs> um, I have to get Tori's box ready for her. Oh, it's, just have to put some more stuff in it and then it'd be ready to go. Well, it won't go until after I get that Nora yarn that she would like to try. Yeah, it's a very, honest oh God, it's a very, very easy pattern. You'll love it. I hope. See, it's quiet right now. Knock on wood. <laughs> so. My kids are uh, arguing in the back there. I don't know why. So, hopefully you don't hear that. <laughs> Yeah, after this tutorial, I'm going to see how I could do that wrap in that new um, Premier Hoopster Cotton. I want to design a different wrap. Maybe with buttons. I don't know. I wanted to sign a wrap, but I don't know if I could do it with that yarn or not. Well, the cotton, but I might be able to make a bleach, uh, bleach, bl bleach blanket if you're interested in that. But I got lots of different yarns I can use for the wrap. But that would be nice because the hips of cotton is so soft. It's soft. Um, and the colors I have, I think it, everybody thinks it would go good together. So I thought if I started with the Desert Storm, nice colors. And then it goes to, um, is it called Stormy Nights? I'll tell you the color later. And then the top one would be the. Uh, Rainbow roller skates. <laughs> Beautiful colors. Though. If um, you guys haven't checked out my recent videos, um, you can go to my playlist and I'll show you some unboxings and some chat videos that we did. Um, like uh, Sue from Mr. Monster, if you want, you can check out some of the unboxings and you'll see the new hipster cotton and um check out some other cotton uh yarn that i was i bought in um, our chit chat videos so anybody that wants to you just go to my playlist and watch them that'd be great they appreciate it so i get some more watch hours And I thank everybody who has been watching because um, I'm up to a thousand and something watch hours now. And we need three more thousand <laughs> watch hours so I can go. We can do a live and we can sit and talk.
So, um, if my Annie's does come in today, I don't think it will, but if it does, then I'll do an unboxing of my Annie's. So it'll be my, the Plumberry one, and then I got a new one, and I'll show you the new one. See this yarn shreds like it's very soft. Bamboo from Rayon is really soft, true blue. But I didn't have so many problems with the blue. I had found some knots in this yarn. That was really weird. I couldn't get them out either, so. I don't want to keep you too long. I do have some other things I have to finish today before I do the tutorial. So just let me know if you guys are watching, um, if you want me to do a tutorial like this, or if you rather me sit at the table and do it that way. Um, it's totally up to you how you want me to do it. We can do it as a crochet, chit chat crochet along together. So it feels like we're all joining to one little circle crocheting together. That'd be fun. So what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna see if I can find, um, like I got lots of fours and threes, so you pick the yarn and the crochet hook that you wanna use and I'll pick, hopefully I'll, I'll pick one that's a little has more color in it. I'll pick a number four, of course the weight, and a crochet hook to go with that. I just hope that the armpits don't look too big, because it's supposed to be for a newborn. Okay. I just want to come on quickly and let you know that tonight is the big tutorial on my new design baby dress. But the only problem is, I won't be doing mine in white. I'll be doing mine in another color. I can show you how to do the single crochet around it, or um, I might have to wait till the buttons come in, and then show you how to do the edging and then the buttons in another day, once I get the buttons in. It's totally up to you. Uh, well, I don't have the right size button, so I can't show you how to do the buttons today. So I could show you how to make the dress, and then if you have buttons and you know how to do a single crochet, you just single crochet all the way around, all the way around to the end here, and back up again for the second time, and then make your little chain spots for your little buttons. Actually, you won't have to do that because there will be chain spots all the way around here. Then you just pop a little button in. But we could do the tutorial on the dress tonight, and then you can work on the dress, and then once I get the the buttons in I can show you how to do the edging and do the buttons it's up to you okay all right well I hope you guys have the rest beautiful day it is really hot out there today so I'm going to do what I have to do before it gets even hotter and then I'll join you guys later on you let me know if you want to do one like this or you want one done with the camera it is totally up to you. Okay? Alright, so God bless. Stay safe. And I'll see you later on tonight. Bye-bye.